This is Mark, my husband. I'm Kristen Herrings, and uh, part of Friends of Oakland Bay. And essentially, we are retired, and we moved here to enjoy the sound. And this is absolutely beautiful, but it's not going to be very, very soon. And besides the aesthetic aspect of our situation, the other over overarching issue for us is a potential health hazard because these waters, Oakland Bay has been logged by pulp mills for eight decades and there is a, a high level, the last time testing was done, of dioxins and what's the F word? The Furons. Furons. We're not scientists, we're just ordinary people that got thrown in the deep end and what they're talking about doing is putting 30,000 bags, 50 acres worth of oysters out there. This bay does not flush the way uh, a lot of other larger bays do just because uh, it's estuarial. Um, it feeds into salmon runs. Uh, this has so many implications for the, the natural environment, but the other big one, the biggest one, at least to me, is uh, the dioxins. You can't rinse them or flush them out. They accumulate within the tissues of the oysters and other shellfish and they do the same with humans. We get that uh, contamination from eating them and they cause cancer and birth defects. So when you're talking about upwards of 75 million or more oysters in a fairly small bay, it is a legitimate concern. Mason County is a, is a growing area and this is a natural resource out here for everyone to enjoy. We've been put on the forefront of this because we do, you know, we're, we're lucky enough after years of hard work to be able to own a property out here. But the thing is, is that this bay is here to be enjoyed by everyone. A private corporation wants to come in with a DNR lease, uh, not following, by the way, the mandates of the DNR, take over this bay, block access, ruin it aesthetically, not just for the people that live on the bay, but for all of the citizens of the state of Washington and anybody else that might like to come out here to visit. This access is going to be blocked. The bay is going to be ruined. And, uh, you know, tourism is massive in the state of Washington, actually far larger than the uh, seafood industry. So to take over this bay by a private company, you know, uh, you know, at, at, the expense, at the expense of everybody else. Exactly. It's just not right. And it's not something that the DNR should be allowing at this point. This is here for everyone to enjoy. And fortunately, we've, um, you know, I, we kind of feel like we're stewards of this bay now that we live out here, but not just for ourselves, but for the public at large.